Hey guys, uh, Mr. Barnes here again, bringing you another uh, mediocre math video. No, I'm just kidding. Awesome math video. Uh, this math video is the second in my calculus series. I'm definitely going to lose count after like four. Um, and uh, it's based on limits of rational functions, the first few. So in the first lesson, I did uh, some basic factoring techniques, uh, grouping for cubics and just uh, what I call the Barnes method or... Um, Joe's method, some people might know it as. Uh, so in this video I'm going to do some sum and difference of cubes. So these are often ones that the students kind of get wrong a little bit. So I'll just refresh your memory while I'm writing out this example. So in the last video and probably in your calculus classes you've been doing some limits where uh, you end up with when you sub your limit in by direct substitution so if I did that for this guy right here you end up with 0 over 0. So, 0 over 0 is called indeterminate form. So, indeterminate form basically means that we can't tell by sub the number in what the limit is. We're not sure it is what it is. So, when you get a situation like that with a rational function, sort of the first thing that probably crosses into your mind is that I need to factor this guy somehow. So, the way we can factor it, well, this guy right here, x cubed minus 64, that's called a difference of cubes. All right, so let's go ahead now and actually give this a shot. So the thing you, th you know you have difference of cubes is because you have two perfect cubes. So this guy right here is a perfect cube, x cubed, obviously, and 64 is a perfect cube as well. So there's an easy way to remember this the, the difference and uh, addition of cubes or sum of cubes. So if I have two cubes, a cubed minus b cubed, that's always equal to a minus b and then a squared plus a b plus b squared. So you've probably seen this formula somewhere before. So the way I remember this formula is that these always are the same. So the first two signs are the same and then the second sign is always the opposite. So these are the same, the, uh, the minus signs, the first ones, and then these are the opposite. So we got a minus here, you have a minus here, you have a minus there, you have a plus there. So what the a and b represents in our case, well what we have is x cubed minus, and the cube root of 64 is 4. So 4 times 4 times 4 is actually 64. So some people might write it like that, I don't personally don't do it, but I'll do it for the sake of this video. So my a and b are basically x and 4, so I end up with x minus 4, x squared plus 4x plus 4 squared, which is 16. So that guy right there comes from 4 squared. So there is my factored form. So that's the thing about this is that sums and difference of cubes, if you get that and you don't know how to do it, it's like an impossible thing. But if you know the formula, then you're in business. It's like it's just so simple. Just need to know it, how to use it, and that kind of stuff. So yeah, I have a difference of cubes on top, so I got that one factored, and I wrote it in, replaced it. And then on the bottom, what I have is actually difference of squares. Now what I can do is I can actually take a 4 out of that guy, and when I take the 4 out of this guy, so I'll rewrite it over the side here, because I don't want to get too ahead of myself. So when I take the 4 out, I actually get left with x, minus, x squared minus 16. Well, that's the same as x minus 4, x plus 4. So remember, ultimately, what we're trying to do when we, when we factor this is make something cancel. So if you look here, I'm canceling the x minus 4. And generally, you can tell what's going to cancel. So if I have a 4, generally, I'm looking for an x minus 4 to cancel. If I have a negative 4, I'm looking for an x plus 4. So something that's going to make 0 over 0. So in this case, 4 minus 4, 0. 4 minus 4, 0. So there's my 0 over 0 that's gone. So once I get to there, all I have to do is, well, I'm going to rewrite this one because it's a little bit more complicated than the other ones we've done. So x squared plus 4x plus 16 all over 4x plus 4. So once I get that done, all I have to do is go ahead now and sub in my 4. So I have 4 squared plus 4 times 4 plus 16 all over 4 times 4 plus 4. So I have a lot of 4s going on here. So, um, you know, you can use your calculator or whatever you want to do. So this is 16 plus 16 plus 16 
all over 4 times 8. So 16 times 3, I'm not going to make a mistake on camera. I do not want to have to remake this video. That's 48 over 32. Now 48 over 32, we got to reduce that down. So that actually becomes uh, 1.5. Yeah, 3 over 2. So, um, you know, the thing about this that makes this hard, guys, is not the actual calculus. It's the factoring that you've probably learned in pre-calculus courses and things like that. So there's our first example. Let me try another one with a sum of cubes. So if you can't tell what I'm using here, guys, I'm actually using dot matrix paper. And that doesn't make me old. We recently moved into a new school in the last few years. And uh, when I moved out, I found a mother load of dot matrix paper. And dot matrix paper is like it's connected in this big giant line. And I remember it from being a kid, and it was awesome for printing banners on these old dot matrix printers. So it was good times. Alright, so this guy here is another example, and it is a sum of cubes. So, um, I can go ahead now and simply do this guy. So this is, again, um, x cubed plus 8, which is the same as x cubed plus 2 cubed. <clears throat> so my a and b this time are both cubed. So if, see if you can come up with a formula for this on your own. If you follow the same opposite as what I do, SO for short, um, so we say it's same for the first sign, so a plus b, and then opposite for the second sign. So a squared minus ab plus b squared. So these guys are the same and then these guys are opposite. So, so you know, the same kind of idea as last time. Alright, so now that I have that, I can go ahead and write out my factor form. So x cubed plus 8, well that's the same as x plus 2. There's x squared minus 2x plus 2 squared, which is 4. So I end up with a limit as x goes to negative 2. And then I'll replace this guy, so it's x plus 2 all over x squared minus 2x plus 4 all over. And then this guy factors what adds give me 9, multiplies to give me 14, so 2 and 7. x plus 2, so there's my cancellation. And then x plus 7. <coughs> Excuse me. So I go ahead, cancel the x plus 2s. And I can go ahead and sub my limit in now. So negative 2 squared minus 2 times negative 2 plus 4 all over. And I'm going to go ahead and sub in that negative 2. Negative 2 plus 7. So I can do the math on that guy. So let's see. 4 plus 4 plus 4 all over 5. So that's 12 over 5. And there it is, guys. I really hope you found this video useful. Um, if you like this video, you can go ahead and share it. Tell a friend. Like, like me on Facebook. No, follow me on Facebook. And uh, hopefully you enjoy this video, and I'll see you guys in class. Good luck.